Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. We're going to continue where we left off. We're on a crash scout site. It's a trap UFO. And if you missed the first part for some reason... Well, why did you miss the first part? You shouldn't have missed the first part. Go back and watch that, and then come back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, we've already fought a couple of ethereals and some uh, heavy floaters, and what else? Some exalt elite operatives. Right. So it's been kind of nasty so far, but we've handled it. Uh, unfortunately, um, our our comrade buddy right here, Humanoid, he did go down. So we got to be careful with his placement the rest of the mission. Copy that. And I, I, I don't know. That's just kind of the way it is. He, he goes on a mission, and he gets hurt, and then he comes back, and he helps us out again. But kind of a cycle for him, unfortunately. But having said that, let's move on. Time to motor. Got it, moving. We're doing okay on consumables. Uh, other than cover destruction, which I was kind of afraid of. That was the one weak area for this team that I put together for this mission. And we're, alre we're already out of uh, grenades and whatnot. So, makes things a little bit more challenging. But I think we'll be okay. Do you have some battle scanners available? I'll probably utilize those. Let's rock. Let's see. Ed, move up. Okay, you, you there, move okay. back. I do, however, still have some chem grenades, and I've got uh, smoke good grenades, so that's good. So all in all, I'd say we're in okay-ish shape, as long as we don't end up with like Only having to fight like more ethereals or something, because. I think two's good, you know? I had a conversation with the game I'm in between episodes where I explained to the game that, you know, honestly, two, uh, two ethereals is, is, is enough. I feel like that's adequate. And whether or not the XCOM overlords will hear me is an entirely different On subject. Okay, go ahead and heal. This? Oh, it's gonna hurt. I'm on it, Commander. Hey, mm -hmm. you hear anything? So I'm not entirely convinced that the only thing that we have left is I'm the command pod either. I think we're going to be dealing with more than just that. So Roger, Dodger. we're going to take it cautious here. Moving out. Okay, put our sniper right here. We're gonna keep our sniper down. Oh, yeah. As well as Stafford. Because even though we get extra range, we put him in the air and we get additional bonuses, it doesn't do me any good if I have no line of sight, so I think I'm just gonna keep them down for now. Double time. Mm-hmm. It's a meld that way, huh? Well, guess we can try. On the move. Humanoid up here. Would he be able to get to some better cover the following turn? He needed it? Aye, aye. All right. <clears throat> we can put him up here then. Steady. I'm rolling. Back out here. Steady. Overwatch. We'll use a battle scanner next turn. I think it's it might just be the command pod left. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but we'll find out. Moving out. Where is that meld? Is that it? Hold on, hold on. Do we see it? Yep, right there. Okay, so we're gonna go try to get that. Which means we're gonna sit tight here for a bit. I'm 
If these guys want to come out on their own, that's fine with me. Been run into some Overwatch fire. Yep. Throw a battle scanner down there just to confirm <clears throat> what we suspect. Scanning. Mm-hmm. There's the outsiders. Heading to that location. I guess if I could potentially set up sniper shot, but where would I From here maybe? Location confirmed. Oh, I could try to set that up. Let's see. No. It's kind of what I thought. All right. <coughs> JP. You need to go get that for me. Already there. Alien object in sight. Moving out. Already there. Would, they, would you see them from there? Yeah, you probably would. Alright, stay put then. Alright, we- oh, and we... Missed it on the meld. Alright. Let's mop this up then. Battle scanner, please. Scanners up and running. Yeah, do we have a sniper shot up? I don't think so. Nope. But we can light this one up like a Christmas tree to start the fight. 14 and shredded. Oh, it's go time. Yeah, it's go time. One down. Next right down. And now, do you have a flank here? Right here? Mm, how about here? Heading to that location. Here, move up. That way you can at least. Nope, can't even get a suppression. Dang it. All right. Chance to hit 57. All right, hold that thought for a moment. Let's go ahead and Kim grenade him. Actually, I should have smoked and then Kimmed. Oh well. Actually, you know what we could do? Just to be safe. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to move him back, like, out of line of sight. And then... <clears throat> I'm going to come over here, Moving. like so. I'm going to use the shadow device. Coin flip shot, huh? You know what? I think I'd rather just go out of line of sight altogether. Okay. 
Okay, reaction shot, 100%. It's got lightning reflexes, so it's only 10. Darn it. Shot wide. Covering fire shot. Shot wide. Okay, got hit for 7, but that's fine. His armor took it. Yeah, I actually think that was the best bet, what I just did there. Because if he had shot, like, for instance, my sniper, that would have been bad news. Really bad news. Okay, so let's see. Alright, let's slide over here. Take a shot. Nope. Alright. Negative damage. On the move. No, nope, missed. Okay. Next time. Heading to that location. Wow, that's missed. That's a lot of missed shots, people. That is a lot of missed shots. Okay, move up. Overwatch. Let's see if we can't get uh, JP back in the fight potentially. Oh, you're going down. You're going down, and I'm not even bothering to capture you. No. Take it easy. 16 crit with the yeah, sidearm. High fives. Psh, psh. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm glad I took the team I took, though. That would have been rough otherwise. Yeah. Wounded for 36 days. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. I don't want to hear anything about it, humanoid. I want to hear anything about it. <laughs> you didn't die. You didn't die. That is the important part. Okay, so we got some damage stuff. Got a decent amount of resources from that. All right, let's go sell that stuff. Uh, matter of fact, let's look at Humanoid real quick. What is your will at? Because that's... That has been problematic. You have 60 will, so I, I don't... I don't get it. It must just be bad rolls or something. You know, because he's, like, panicked and stuff like that. It, it's just... It's just RNG. That's all it is. His stats are good. Well, alright. Now I'm glad I didn't do that base assault. Imagine if, imagine if I uh, tried to put a group together that wasn't as strong as that and then had that trap UFO. That would have been, well, I guess technically I didn't have to do it though. It was a crash site. So, yeah. All right, let's spin the globe. Illyrium generator complete. All right, Illyrium generator's done. That means we need a hyperwave relay. Wow, whew. That, that thing's no joke on the cost, huh? Okay, well, we have to build it. Now, when this thing is done, it'll unlock the next, essentially the next piece of the story, right? So, that's when the Overseer sort of command ships will start showing up. Yeah. Which, timing-wise, means that we might get it before the end of next month? Maybe? Get our aircraft real quick. Arming three days. Arming eight hours. I'm gonna have to sell a bunch of stuff, I think, and build some more firestorms. Site training failed. You know what? That reminds me, there's a couple people I need to put in there. Yep, yeah, well, you need to go back in there. Telekinetic field. And then. Christy, you need to go in there and train telekinetic field. Anyone else? Not really, no. Any higher level Psy operators down here? Yeah, Anne, but she's fatigued. 
When she comes out, I'll need to send her too. Van Dorn's back. Completed augmentation on Eric. He was a gunner, so... He'll be a Goliath mech? Yep, right here. So, absorption fields to start, so reduces incoming damage. And then, let's see. Flush is not bad on a Goliath. Most people would probably take reactive target sensors, get a free shot back at the first enemy who attacks the mech each turn. But flush is useful because it does give you um, additional chance to hit. So, like plus 30%, so you combine that with Ranger and Mayhem, and then you can get kind of a, almost a, not a guaranteed, but sort of a guaranteed shot. It, you know, to finish the target off, potentially. And then they can get heat ammo, which is quite nice. I'm gonna take flush, actually. Half a point of damage reduction. I'm gonna go with ranger. Okay, so then we have Mayhem. Hair servos. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Mayhem. Mel, it's a tank mech, and you're making- and his name is Tank, and you're making him shooty. Yes, I am. <laughs> you are very observant. I am doing that. Experimenting a bit, people. We do that, right? We experiment. Let's see, let's give him something that looks kind of real tanky. A tanky? Uh, that's that's tankish, right? There, we put him in a suit. What do he look like? Yeah, that looks cool. That'll work. All right, what other housekeeping stuff do we need to do? Not much, because we don't have much to work with. Wow, we are low on resources. Holy moly. Alright, well, let's spin the globe, then. Another core armoring. Another Titan armor. Oh, heavy pulse rifle. I forgot I built that. Nice. Oh, Wilson's back. That's nice. Okay, scramble interceptors. Do we even try a regular interceptor first? Let's see. Let's send this lieutenant up and just just see if it's possible We're for it to pursuit. even handle this thing. My guess is no. Approaching target now. Oh, abort, abort, abort. Okay. We definitely need to send up a uh, big boy Enemy ship here. Is padlocked. Yeah, let's go ahead and dodge. Initiating Closing on target. All right, shot it down. So that's good. Got us a little bit of money, but now our aircraft is damaged. For how long? 18 days. Okay, so let's transfer you. Here, and let's transfer you back here. All right, yeah, we gotta sell. We gotta sell some stuff and build some more firestorms. I thought I thought this would be enough, but it's not. So what do we sell? Well, that's a good question. Well, we can sell some sectoid corpses. Sure, why not? Sell some floaters, we can sell some heavy floaters. Thin men. Newtown corpses, berserker corpses. Crystallic carcasses, I don't need those. Drones we'll hold on to, because some booster uses those if I remember right. 
sell a couple of flight computers. We don't need all those. A couple of mectoid cores. Sell some seekers. Alloy strike rifle. I never use it anymore. I think I am going to get rid of it. Yeah, I am. The latest contact turned out to be a dud. Probably just another drunk pilot who fell asleep on a long haul. I need to build a new strike rifle. Like the pulse version or something. Gossetter gun. I can get rid of that too. Well, it gave us some cash. What are these pending deals here? Meld? 50 men. You're crazy. I'm not giving you your. I'm not giving you meld. Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? New scientist, a new recruit. Yeah. That would have been nice, too. Yeah. Sorry, can't do it. How much are the plasma cannons for the firestorms? How much? How much are you? Well, they're not horribly expensive. All right, let's build one of those. And... 90 Illyrium. Okay. So we can't build another Firestorm yet. That's okay. We'll just wait. How much is a Titan Armor? 199, huh? I'm gonna build another one of those, too. Alright. Spin... Aircraft now armed with EMP. Great. Aircraft transfer complete. Sentry gun. This is the shiv weapon, the Gauss version. And then there's the pulser. Here comes our hover shivs. Cool looking. Nice. Get a little bit of a rebate there. Yeah, we did. Because of our workshops. Speaking of which, can we optimize this a little bit? Maybe get rid of this fission generator and drop another workshop in? Leaves us with enough power to build the gallop chamber. And then we'll have a nice little square right here. Workshop bonuses. Yep, that's worth it. Okay, assign new research. What did we get? We got the plasma sniper rifle and the reflex rifle, which is the uh, strike rifle that you'd give to a scout. Or, well, depending on the build, right? Plasma sniper, reflex rifle. Uh, do we want to do any more research right now? Mm, no, because I don't care about any of those things. So we will wait. How much is a plasma sniper going to cost us? Uh, a lot. <laughs> That's my detailed analysis. It will be costing us a lot. Oh, man. Oh, and it takes the heavy weapon. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we're going to build it, though. It's 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 worth it. I th Well, ah, it's so hard to say. So here here's the deal. If. If you think about all of the targets that you're going to have, this is really good for an in-the-zone um, sniper because it does more damage against biologics. And that's who you would give it to. You wouldn't give it necessarily to the precision sniper because you get extra crit from the pulse rifle. But it's six of one, half dozen another because now we've got flying armor and all kinds of other bonuses. So you could give it to either one, though I'm leaning towards if I build this, giving it to my in-the-zone snipers if I take two snipers on a mission. Now, the other thing I wouldn't mind building, though, is that reflex rifle. I don't have any alien rifles available? Really? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to do some more captures. All right, well, plasma sniper it is. Let's build it. Oh, this is painful. I'm so, like, resource starved. 
I'm as bad off as the aliens are now. Oh my goodness, we're actually getting our, our alloy shift back. That's hilarious. Alright, well we have shivs available, that's good. Contact detected. Abductor. Okay. Well, we don't have any chance to shoot it down, so... Oh, we actually got an abduction mission. Okay. We've multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, well, actually, you know what? I, I don't want to jump into another mission right now. So when we come back in the next episode, we will tackle that swarming abduction mission. So maybe we'll take some of the new hover ships with us. We might as well try them out, right? Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.